All right, so 189.2 pounds. I woke up this morning, I was exactly 190.6, so I've lost about a pound. I haven't had too much. I've just been sipping on my water. I've had like 300 grams of carbs of 300 grams of carbs. 300 grams of apples, which is like 30 to 40 grams of carbs. Now, usually I don't eat before my workout. I just have my pre-workout, but today we are finally back on program. So I wanted to get a little of food inside my system. I didn't want too much because... I don't know about y'all, but I'm one of them people I hate going to the gym with like a full stomach or like feel bloated because whenever you like brace for your lifts and stuff, it feels like you have to use the bathroom and I'm off it. Got a heavy single on bench followed up with the three by six. I'm not too sure what the exact percentages are for those workouts, but I'll fill y'all in once we get to the gym. All right, so we all made it here at the gym for that top single. It's gonna be at an 80. Hopefully y'all can hear me because the speaker, I know I say that every single video, but the speakers in here are loud as shit. But that top single, we're gonna be going for at 87.5% and then the three by six is gonna be 72.5. So the last time I was on the program, I hit that single for a 270. And obviously I'm down in weight, so I'm not too sure how much I'm gonna hit. I wanna hit at least 265, cause that's what the calculations are for. And then for the three by six, it's gonna be either like 230 or 235. But for that first set, I kinda wanna push it a little bit. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see what we got in the cards for today. But I don't think I'm gonna film like the, like the bodybuilding extracurricular type stuff. Cause I really just wanna get like the bench workout done and then just like <clears throat> my fault for the bodybuilding stuff i want to keep the intensity up and it's hard to do that because when i record it i have to worry about like getting different angles and like not being in people's way all this and that so i'm gonna get the bench workout for sure i might throw in a little clips of the bodybuilding type work of the bodybuilding portion of the workout but we'll see No cap, that shit was heavy as hell. I look back at the footage, it moved. All right, I said it moved at like the right percentage, but we're moving on to the three by six. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 225 or 230, not too sure. I'm gonna see how this first set goes, but I'm gonna just run through it. Brother, ho, whoa, 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 now. Nah. You got too much dip on your chip. Yesterday was probably like the fastest Monday I've had in the gym. I don't know why. I really just went in. I hit bench. And I mean, like I said before, I didn't film like any bodybuilding type movements because I really just wanted to get in and get out. After bench on my first set, it was supposed to be a three by six. But on my first set, I only did five reps. And I ain't gonna lie, that kind of pissed me off. So for the rest of the workout, I was just like zoned in. Like I didn't really want to talk to the camera, or like set it up, nothing like that. But 
it's the next day. We're about to head back into the gym. We got squats. We have a top set of two with a pause and then the three by six and then legs. As y'all know, I don't like leg day, which I'm not looking forward to, but I actually went and picked up the Power Beats Pro because I have heard that these are excellent when you're inside like a noisy gym because I mean, I have AirPods, but they have like no noise cancellation. And I know the AirPods Pro have them, but I, don't know, I just want to give like give the Power Beats a try because I ain't gonna lie, I haven't heard nothing bad about these. So hopefully they work out good. Uh, I got my stuff all packed up. We're about to head to the gym and I'll see y'all when we get there. I know y'all saw how that shit move. It's, I swear, it's moments like this where you really want to stick on program, but when mate, when weight moves that fast, you want to up it. But we're going to chill. We're going to chill. We're about to lower it to uh, either 245 or 255 for the 3x6. But I do want to say these headphones are legit. Like, with my AirPods at this gym, I could always hear, like, the music that's playing on the background. With this, I could barely hear myself speak. So, 10 out of 10. Honestly, whenever I record clips in my room, I feel like the lighting is trash because, like, my window is right there. So it's like, I don't know, it just looks weird in my opinion. But I just want to hop on here real quick to, like, explain. So as y'all saw from the thumbnail, I finally completed my cut. It's done. I can eat whatever the I want. No, I'm just playing. But I have finished my cut. And normally what like i've been doing like research and stuff and most people when they finish a cut what they do is a thing called reverse dieting and for those of you that don't know that's simply where you continue eating like the same foods you've been eating but you add like 50 to like 150 ballpark number you add that many calories every week until you get back up to your maintenance but what I'm doing that's different is since I'm already, like I got back, today's Wednesday, I got back on program Monday, and instead of just doing like the reverse diet like most people do, I'm actually, I already started eating like back at my maintenance because basically if you, I mean, if you decide to do the reverse dieting, like it, it really depends on you and your goals, but the reason I'm not doing it is because technically if you do go that route you will still be in the caloric deficit and the fact that i'm back on program me eating under like my maintenance calories that's not gonna help me like get my weight back up build numbers all that stuff it's because i'm actually planning on competing i want to say the winter like end of this year early next year so basically me 
doing the reverse dieting and eating still at a caloric deficit is not going to help me reach that goal any faster. So I already up my calories. I've been feeling good. The weights, it's been consistent over the past few days. So I'm going to probably keep it there for like another day or two. And then I'm going to go into like a slight slurp, sl bl 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 slight surplus so I can actually start putting on some decent quality muscle and start like I said, like building my weight up because right now my total is at, I think it's like a 1275 or something like that. And honestly, by the end of the year, I want it to be like, I know it's kind of like high ass expectations, but I wanted it to be like 14, 1500 pounds. And I think if I like just stay committed to my program, eat what I'm supposed to eat, I can actually do it. So hopefully everything goes good. I'm back eating. So that's all I really wanted to say because I know my transformation. I mean, my thumbnail is like about my transformation. And before this has really just been like workout footage. But I just want to hop on here real quick, like explain that to y'all. Try to help some of y'all out that don't know about the type of stuff. So again... That's what I'm doing. You don't have to do it. It really depends on like your goals and what you want, you know, out of fitness, whatever. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. More content is on the way and I'll see y'all in the next one.